Hey everyone, it's Sahara, and I've got a new pick a card reading for you guys, and it's called What Are Their First Impressions of You? So I want you guys to think of the person that you have in mind, or you can just think of in general what are people's first impression of you, and close your eyes, open them back up again, and pick the number that immediately catches your eye, and stay tuned for your reading, keeping that number in mind. Okay, so if you need more time, pause the video, but I am going to dive right in. Alright, so if you chose number one, let's see what was this person's first impression of you. Ooh, so we have the hermit. Okay, so I have two interpretations here. You take whatever resonates. So, first of all, the hermit is someone who separates himself from society. He's a little bit of a loner. He doesn't like to be bothered. He just wants people to leave him alone, basically. And he doesn't really like people all that much. And he's a little bit of a misanthrope. So, this person's first impression of you is that you don't really like to socialize and you prefer to be alone. You're a little bit of a loner. So that's one interpretation. Another interpretation is that, um, well, the hermit tends to think differently for most people. Like they have a completely different mindset that is actually a lot wiser and a lot more intelligent than most people in their age group. So this person's first impression of you is that you might be a little bit of an old soul or you think differently than most people and you're a little bit wiser than people who are typically in your age group. So they might also see you as someone who has a lot of wisdom. All right, that's their first impression of you. Just take whatever resonates there. All right, let's move on to number two and let's see what was this person's first impression of you. Ooh, we have the star. Okay, so this person's first impression of you is actually pretty great. Like they see you as someone who's super optimistic um, super positive. Um, you just have this optimistic aura about you. You radiate these amazing vibes. Um, and you might have an ambitious look to you because this woman here is in a really bad neighborhood, but you can see she's like, one day I will get out of this place. <laughs> so yeah. Um, and you might look like someone, well, from their eyes, from their perspective, you, look, you might look like someone that not only encourages yourself, but you also like to encourage others. Um, this might not even be even true. I mean, you might actually be the most pessimistic person ever, but that was their per first impression of you. They saw you as someone who is very upbeat and confident about your future. All right, so let's move on to number three, and let's see what's this person's first impression of you. So we have the hangman. Okay, so the hangman is someone who doesn't really allow life to get to them. So when bad things happen, they're just like, oh, well, that's life, c'est la vie. And they don't really, they're very let go and let live. And the best thing about the hangman is that this is someone who knows how to surrender and how to put up the white flag. So they're not someone who's going to argue with you. They're not going to stand up for their beliefs. Uh, they're not someone who... Um, they're basically people who will say, okay, you win. You take that one. I'm not even going to argue with you. So this person's first impression of you is that you might tend to be very un unassertive, very passive, docile, compliant. Um, you don't really like to shake things up and you're more than willing to allow others to take the lead or you're just very laid back and very cool, calm, and collected. Okay. Let's move on to number four. Let's see what's this person's first impression of you. And we have the hacker, also known as Prince of Swords. So, okay, so I'm getting the impression that this person's first impression of you is that you're super brainy, very intelligent. They automatically get the impression that you're someone who would rather spend time on their phone, on their computer, on their laptop, rather than socialize. Um, there are some of you, not all of you, maybe a fraction of you who might actually wear glasses from time to time. Um, but for the rest of you, uh, maybe you guys just have your face buried in your phone a lot, or you have this techie look to you. 
a brainy look to you. Um, there's something about you that someone would actually assume that you work in a STEM field, like in science or technology or engineering, math, etc. So you just have this, <laughs> I would rather use technology than talk to humans look, okay? And yeah, and you look like you're more focused on doing your own thing um, than actually socializing. So yeah, you have this um, look that you're more focused on being analytical, being data-driven, um, very uh, left-brained. Um, yeah, you might not even be any of those things, but this person does get this uh, vibe from you, okay? All right, so let's move on to number five. Let's see what's this person's first impression of you. So we have the Nine of Wands. Okay, so the Nine of Wands is someone who is very protective of her heart. And I say that because in this image, this girl is like doing a protection spell around her. So very paranoid about what people might do to her, might very paranoid of their intentions. So, and also in Nine of Swords, it's about someone who has been through a lot of BS in her past, whether it's relationships or childhood, and then they're just not ready to really open their heart right away. So this person's first impression of you is that you have some walls up and you're not exactly an open book and you're someone who really needs to get to know someone before really being comfortable with them. Okay. All right. So let's move on to number six and let's see what's this person's first impression of you. The fool. <laughs> okay. So this person's first impression of you is that you like to do your own thing and you don't give up about what anyone thinks of you. Um, there's something about you that comes across as looking like an individual. Like, I don't really care about what you have to say about me. Um, but you also come across as being very carefree and very free-spirited. Like, you don't have too many obligations and responsibilities. Like, you look like you're someone who loves to wander a little bit, walk around aimlessly, explore the world. Um, this is not someone who will think that you're stressed out or that you have a huge family to take care of or you just have all these burdens. Even if you do, they're not going to think that because you look like you're free of detach of attachments and um, you give off this happy-go-lucky, easygoing, um, unbothered vibe to you. You know, I mean, whether it's true, who knows, but um, that's how they see you and that's the impression, the first impression that they got from you. All right, so let's move on to number seven and let's see what's this person's first impression of you. Whoa, so we have the five of chalices, um, also the five of cups. So this person's first impression of you is that you, don't, you didn't look happy. You looks like you were a little bit down a little bit. So maybe you, you're someone who tends to wear your emotions on your face or maybe your emotions betray you a lot or um, the expression that you wear on your face looks sad, but you're not really sad. So you are you are coming across pessimistic and um, you're engaging in a lot of negative self-talk in your head. That's how they saw you. So... When this person first met you, this person thought that you had this dark cloud following you or that you were dressed in dark colors or maybe you had this sullen expression and maybe you looked a little moody, a little glum, a little resentful, maybe grumpy. Again, maybe you're not any of those things or maybe you are. Um, but there was something about your posture or your facial expression that made this person assume that you're a little bit down in the dumps. Okay. All right. So that's done. So let's move on to number eight and let's see what, what's this person's first impression of you. <laughs> so the four of pentacles and I, th this card is making me laugh because I can imagine how they could have seen you as a first impression. Like, I don't trust you. Very, um, a little bit of an attitude. <laughs> 
<laughs> Maybe if you didn't mean it. But this person definitely, first impressions, they thought that you were closed off. Um, not quick to let people in. You're not quick to share details about yourself. Um, you're very distrustful of people's intentions. Um, you don't look particularly welcoming. And you kind of, you're someone that you kind of need to get accustomed to people before you open up and share anything about yourself. And people won't be naturally inclined to gravitate toward you, according to this person, because um, they'd be afraid about how you'd react. And I'm seeing um, this person sees you as someone who holds their car close to their chest. Um, so also the Four of Pentacles is about not wanting to share and not looking very charitable or generous in any way. Just keeping things close to your heart, whether it's information, your resources, anything. All right. So, yeah, that was their first impression of you. All right, guys. So if you like this type of pick a card reading, let me know by liking, commenting, and subscribing so I know whether or not I should make more.